rich people. They're just like us. They are worried about where to invest their money in this kind of market. So they hire folks like Mike Ryan. He's chief investment strategist for Wealth Management Americas at UBS. His firm has $1.7 trillion under management. Uh, let's talk about this, Mike. And, and you know, I should say they, they entrust their money to you. What are you seeing as far as movement and requests on behalf of the wealthy that you invest for? Well, well, first of all, Liz, the, they're, they're asking about a lot of the things that you've already been talking about in your show. Uh, they're obviously worried about the political outcome. We've clearly seen that reflected in some of the work we do, especially our UBS Investor Watch. We're also seeing a lot of concerns about the strength of the economy. You know, we had a GDP report, which wasn't very encouraging about the last quarter. So I think that puts a lot of emphasis on the GDP report, I'm sorry, on the payroll report that we're going to see out this Friday. Yeah, we're, we're expecting 185,000 to build in jobs. Is that what you're looking at? And what happens if we miss that or we beat it? Well, we're looking for about 190 on our side, and okay. we're looking for the unemployment rates to actually tick down to 4.8 percent. I think what's really important is, is not just the number itself, but what happens in terms of any revisions to prior months. Now, remember, we came off two months. The May report was much weaker than expected, and the market really kind of took that and, and sorted through that and actually sold off. Then we saw the June report that was much better. Not only was the report better, but the revisions, the backward revisions were also good. So the market is going to clearly look on which of those really was the trend report. Was it the May or the June? Our view is that actually the May report was an aberration. The June really reflects the strength in labor markets. Let's and what you likely see is a pretty solid number. Um, okay, so what are you seeing when it comes to specific sector investments? Because it's got to be equities, right? Interest rates are so unbelievably low, and wealthy people want yield, do they not? Or they want preservation too? Well, they do want both. I think what you are still see seeing right now, though, is, is there is a scramble for return and an ongoing search for yield. So here's basically what we're telling our clients to, to focus on. First of all, we are still focused on equities. We think that's still the better place to be. Within the equity market, though, we need to be opportunistic here. Uh, we're focused largely on the U.S. market. We still think, if you want to use an analogy, it's the, it's the best athlete in the game. Uh, we think the, the underlying strength of the economy, we think the recovery in the earnings cycle, we think the still supportive policy backdrop and the fact that uh, even though markets are become more expensive, they're certainly not overpriced. But we think those things will translate into solid earnings uh, and certainly certain uh, solid market gains uh, through the balance this year into next year. We're hearing um, what we're hearing September rate hike murmurs. How does that affect the picture, Mike? Are you hearing that too? Yeah, obviously that's kind of into the equation, but I think what's more likely from our standpoint is that the Fed's probably going to defer any rate activity until December. Okay. I just think there's still a lot of concerns about uh, the underlying strength of the global economy, uh, trying to figure out exactly what the fallout right. will be from the Brexit vote. So I, I think what they're likely to do is defer any rate action, if at all, this year until December. I think, I think we just all need to go see the movie Suicide Squad and check out, right? <laughs> <laughs> you going to go, Mike? <laughs> uh, that's, that's making my list, but it's pretty far down a priority list, to be honest. Listen, it's great to have you, Mike Ryan of UBS.